Good morning, everyone. It's me again, Brother Julius. So, I'm going to read about the compendium of the Catechism of the Catholic Church, number six, um, chapter two. God, God comes to meet men, the revelation of God. What does God reveal to men? God in his goodness and wisdom reveals himself with deeds and words. He reveals himself and his plan of loving goodness which he decreed from all eternity in Christ. According to this plan, all people by the grace of the Holy Spirit are to share in the divine life as adopted sons in the only begotten Son of God. Number seven, what are the first stages of God's revelation? From the very beginning, God manifested himself to our first parents Adam and Eve and invited them to intimate communion with himself after their fall he did not cease to his revelation to them but promised salvation for all their descendants after the blood he made a covenant with Noah, Noah a covenant between himself and all living creatures beings number eight what are the next stages of god's revelations god chose abram calling him calling him out of his country making him the father of all of a multitude of nation genesis chapter 17 verse 5 and promising to bless in him all the nation of the earth. Genesis chapter 12 verse 3. The people descended from Abraham would be the trustee of the divine promise made to the patriarchs. God formed Israel as his chosen people freeing them from slavery in Egypt, establishing the, with them the covenant of Mount Sinai, and through Moses giving them his law, the prophets proclaimed a radical redemption of the people and a salvation which would include all nations in a new and everlasting covenant from the people of Israel and from the house of King David would be born the Messiah Jesus number nine what is the full and definitive stage of God's revelation the full and definitive stage of God's revelation is accomplished in his word made flesh Jesus Christ, the mediator and fullness of revelation. He, being the only begotten Son of God, made man, is the perfect and definitive word of the Father. In the sending of the Son and the gift of the Holy Spirit, revelation is now fully complete. Although the faith of the church must grasp, gradually grasp its full significance over the course of centuries. In giving us his son, his only and definitive word, God spoke to everything to us once at once in this in this sole word and he has no more to say by Saint John of the Cross.